How to install cavity wall insulation. Cavity wall insulation is normally held in position by the wall ties used to tie the two skins of masonry together. Install wall ties in the inner leaf at 600 mm horizontal centers. For solid concrete floors, wall ties start at either one course of block work below the damp proof course or, depending on your location, a specified distance below the top surface of the ground floor perimeter insulation upstand. For suspended timber floors, wall ties start a minimum of 200 mm below the top surface of the ground floor perimeter insulation upstand. Continue constructing the inner leaf up to the next wall tie course. The next course of wall ties is positioned at regular horizontal centers. Extra wall ties should be positioned at jams for all openings. The next course of block work should then be installed to secure the ties. After raising each section of the inner leaf and before installing the insulation board, excess mortar should be removed and mortar droppings cleaned from exposed edges of the installed insulation boards. The first row of insulation boards should now be installed between the two rows of wall ties. Ensure each insulation board is retained tight against the inner leaf and joints are butted. Secure each board at a minimum of three points. Additional ties may also be required to satisfy structural requirements or to ensure adequate retention of boards or cut pieces. Apply a self-adhesive breathable tape to all horizontal and vertical joints, board edges and abutting junction interfaces. These surfaces too should be clean, dry and free from grease, dust and dirt prior to application. Next, build the outer leaf to the level of the top of the boards and repeat the process. If finishing at a gable, insulation board should be continued 200mm beyond the height of the top storey ceiling and a cavity tray installed above the insulation.